was it called with Linda Hamilton in and Ron Perlman and he was like a a lion man <laughs> I can't remember what it was called if I remember I'll put it up on the screen <laughs> that's what my hair looks like Ron Perlman from that show Okay, so it's Thursday night. I did say that I was going to finish the Clue 2 first thing in the morning, which I did, and then that I was going to get Clue 3 downloaded straight away um, so I could see it. And it's literally 8.30 in the evening and this is the first chance I've had to um, to look at it. I just haven't had a chance at all. So I am downloading it now and I thought I would have a look with you. So here we go. So instructions for clue three. Now I haven't looked at this at all. I have clicked on somebody's post in Discord, not her picture post, but um, her like what she thought and um and apparently it strikes <laughs> so with section 11 is zigzag slips so without looking at the video continues with the 176 live stitches from section 10 which is where my needle is attached move the two stitch markers when you reach them well, why did you tell you to leave the stitch markers on Oh, okay. This is like the sock, isn't it? Doing, looks like mosaic, maybe? Oh, okay. And you're doing, is that all A? So eight, oh, it's been eight rows all the time, so there's still the same sort of thickness of stripes, break colour A, more ends. <laughs> So we're doing like a kind of slip stitchy thing. Oh, break yarn and graft remaining. Six eye cord stitches together using Kitchener stitch. Oh, right, yeah, I know what he means. Like that. And then we go over and do section 12, which is attached to section 9. So it is like going out, isn't it? Unless this curls or anything, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know. I find it hard sometimes to visualise a pattern just by reading what you're supposed to do. Like I understand what you're supposed to do, but I find it hard to like picture it in my head sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna crack on then. I'm really sick of striping. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick of striping and cutting yarn. But and it's every eight rows. But the girl in Discord said uh, it was fire. She said it is more stripes, but it's interesting and she's having to concentrate more. And I was like, if it's a bit more, um, like if you've got to concentrate and you've got to really think about it, then I'll be a bit happier because I want to learn something. I don't want to just be a simple knit. I don't want a simple knit. That's not why I sign up to the MCAL. I sign up to do something different and learn and yeah so hopefully this gets me brain going a little bit but we'll see I'm going to crack on I'm really confused. What I read, I was thinking it was like slip stitches like the sock.
but it's not, is it? You, are, you, are you doing an eye? You're like making an eye cord across. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not what I thought. Okay. I was totally wrong. So you kind of doing an eye cord. You you're doing an eye cord cast off. Right. Well I'm not counting quite obviously, I'll just have to I'll just have to um count the other side. And I forgot to make a cup of tea, which is just not good enough really, is it? So I think I'll have to go and do that as well. Right. I'll come back when I've got some sort of progression. Right, I'm so sorry about my hair. I keep getting caught in the rain and then I just look like I've been dragged through a hedge. But, um, yeah, I've done uh, row one, just row one. It's took ages because it's an eye cord cast off and they take forever. But yeah, so this side is now cast off and this side has been increased a lot, like every four stitches. So we're going out this way. We're not doing what I thought with the whole scarf thing. I read it completely wrong. I just, what was the point of me even reading it? Because I've read it completely wrong. So now I'm going to Row two, it's been a very long day. <laughs> I've had a lot of video editing to do. It's all I've done all day. And I am tired. Um, yeah. So, row two, which is a pearl row. Um, the yarn's all going to be in the front. Mm, okay. Okay. Right. I hope. I, do you know what? When you knit blind, there's always a little bit of doubt. Like, am I doing this right? And I haven't watched this video... I think I might do a couple of rows and then I might just have a quick sneak and check. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I can read an in pattern. No, I've wrote enough of them. I can read them, but do you know when you just have that little you sure you're doing that right? Are you absolutely certain? I've got that going on. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I'll see you in a bit. I said earlier in the week about um uh I think it was last time this video about we were due a massive rainfall from Wednesday night until Saturday. It's kind of rained on and off last night and then today, which is Thursday. <laughs> and it's really coming down, I'm going to show you. Are you ready? very messy desk behind me so I'm gonna just hide that as also a, a top for my mum for Christmas <laughs> but she doesn't want to see it so that's fine I hope anyway otherwise surprise mum um yeah so it's really coming down there um oh it, it, sometimes it's like someone turns a tap on then turns it back off again it's really weird anyway that's all I show you anyway after that um amount of rain coming down I thought I would show you how I'm getting on so this is what I've done so far and like this I've done a pattern like this um before and I really really like doing it it just makes so so much fun I've got a hat and a cowl that's like this so yeah liking that so far I've had to pull back Twice. I've had to tink two rows back because I was watching podcasts and just wasn't counting. It's that simple. So yeah, um, but that's the that's a. I need to cut you on here and start with a B. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is stripes. 
but so far fun stripes so let's just see how this goes I've got a feeling it's gonna go that way and then do 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 because I'm sure it's called zigzag zigzag slips um yeah I'm gonna crack on with I'm very close to the camera I do apologize but my arm's aching I'm gonna uh get on with color b and I'm going to bed soon so I might show you what I do in the end it's quarter to 11 now I'm watching Nitty Mel. I might get to the end of her video and then but I've still got 20 minutes to go so I don't know. I might. I might just finish watching her tomorrow. But yeah. Otherwise I'm off. I'm waffling. Always waffling. Imagine what my family feel like. It must be awful for them, mustn't it? I'll see you later. <laughs> right, I did watch the end of an email, but um, I'm going to go to bed now. It is seven minutes past 11. I've still got three rows to do on this colour, colour B. Um, I'm sorry if you came with power upstairs. He's being super loud tonight, playing his games. Um, yeah, so I've got three rows left to do on this colour B. And then I go to, I've got a wrong side row to do next. But yeah, it's cute. I really like how oops, it looks wavy on the back. You can see with the dark colour and I kind of wish it was more wavy on the front. I've got more hair in that colour there so it's really hairy. But do you see what I mean? And it's, it doesn't look wavy on the front, which is a shame, but I still like it. So there we go. Bit of a... Uh... Oh, it looks cool, doesn't it? That is me for Thursday. Um, I'm off to bed and I'm, I don't know how much of this I'll do tomorrow. Maybe not a lot because... Friday is date night with me and my partner and I drink alcohol <laughs> and I don't think Stephen West Shaw mixes very well with alcohol so I'll probably just knit my son's Halloween cardigan which I really need to do anyway Um, I did that last Friday uh, as well I really need to get on with that to be fair so um that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So I'll probably see you. I might see you during the day a little bit if I get time. Um, but I also have to go to my son's school harvest festival and drink soup at school and things like this. So <laughs> I've got a bit of a jam-packed day tomorrow. So possibly I might see you a little bit, but it'll probably be Saturday. Not that you'll miss me, because it'll literally be in a second for you. But for me, it might be a day and a half. Who knows? So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hello. Um. Okay, so today is Sunday. It is um, 8.30 possibly on Sunday evening. I did do a little bit of it on Friday morning. I didn't film anything, but I did do uh, two two repeats, I think. Um, and then I haven't done any since. I did none on Friday night, which I said I wasn't going to do any on Friday night because um, I have a drink, an alcoholic beverage. And um, yeah, and this wouldn't mix. And then Saturday, I just... I just didn't want to. I didn't knit anything on Saturday, actually. Um, I just needed to not. So now it is Sunday night and I am actually forcing myself to pick it up. Like, I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm just not enjoying it. Um, so I was talking to someone earlier today and I said, I think the most exciting part of the cow, of the cow, of the cal, was probably the original clue one. And then 
the rest of it's a little bit tedious to knit. And then obviously that part of, that part of the original clue one has been taken away for for and all the reasons and and everything else. But it's just made the entire shawl a little bit tedious. And I'm really sick of stripes and I know I keep saying it, but I really am sick of chopping yarn. And I don't know. This part looks pretty. The last part looked pretty. It's just not enjoyable to knit. And I'm not enjoying this. I'm really not. Um, I'm going to crack on tonight. Like I said, it's Sunday night. Um, I want to be ready for Clue 4. But honestly, if Clue 4 is is not fun to knit, then I'm never going to finish this. I can, I can imagine me just not, not bothering with it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I said I would do it and I'm here and I'm doing it and I'm, I'm going to force myself to do it. <laughs> but I'm literally at this point, I'm doing it for the sake of these videos so that I don't just stop in the middle and you all never see the end. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm doing it, because I'm just, oh my God, it's so boring. So I'll show you where I'm at, anyway. So this is how far I got. I think the last time you see me, I'd done these two, and then I did these. I'm not fussed on this, like how that light colour is carried up there. Oh. Whatever, just gonna crack on and get it finished. So I've pretty much just started, sorry, just started the dark color. Um, the saving grace on this section is that it gets smaller every other row. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Right, I'm back again. Um, I've realised why this is why this is doing my head in, and it's because you can't just like you've you've got to count all the time. You can't just chill and knit it, and um, I can't anyway. And I'm keeping having to tink rows back. I've just tinked um, the row that I've just showed you. I've just tinked it back um, because. When I started knitting again, I couldn't figure out where I was and it was because that roll was wrong. So, um, pretty much I've tinked a roll back every single colour so far. And yeah, that's, I know it's my fault. But it's just like, I just want to chill and knit something. Like, I think the thing with the MCAL is, for me personally, I like that it pushes my skills and it teaches me something. However, this time around, it hasn't taught me anything. Um, only that centre bit with with um, sticking the triangles together where it started to come undone. Um, it's kind of taught me something there. But I haven't learned a new skill, is what I'm trying to say. And... If I was learning a new skill and having to concentrate, then I'm okay with that. But I'm not. I'm doing normal stuff, but I'm having to count constantly. And I'm just, I'm getting distracted. That's what's happening. I'm getting distracted, losing my train of thought, not counting enough or counting too many. It's four, it's four, 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 four all the time and I'm doing threes or fives every now and again and then it throws the whole thing out and then I've got to figure out where I've done that three or that five and go back and tink it out and and I'm just like <sighs> so I think that's that's what my problem is I feel like all I've done in these MCAL vlogs is mourn and and that's really that's not what I wanted at all so I'm going to try and be a bit more joyful about the experience and um, I'm going to try I'm not promising anything but I'll try I'll see you in a bit right it's now 11.15pm um, I've done I was just at the beginning of this repeat when you lost so I've done a fair bit 
Um, and obviously it is getting smaller. I've had to tink back so many times, but I feel like I'm getting the feel of it now. And I'm not tinking back as much as I was. I have to read the pattern every single time though. Um, it's just not, it's just not like as straightforward as you would maybe think. I'm tired now and I'm, I'm going to bed. I've got school in the morning, not me, my children. I have to take them. Well, well, whatever. I've got to be up. So I'm going to bed. And, um... Oh, I don't know. Just hope that I can get that side done tomorrow, I think. Oh, I've lost my head. I have definitely lost my head. I've lost my head over this MCAL. Hopefully, yeah, I want that side finished tomorrow, which is Monday, and then we've got Tuesday, Wednesday before the next clue comes out. So, yeah, I have to do that. I have to at least finish that side. I just don't. I just, I'm not enjoying it. Just not enjoying it, in it? Which is really sad. But I will crack on. Hello. Um, I may look a little bit different. I've got hiccups because I'm just eating my dinner. That's not why I look different. Um, I've took my glasses off and put them down somewhere. And I can't find them. <laughs> and the problem is, I have to get up really close to everything <laughs> to look for them. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I've put them. And it's like, it's now 20 to 9 at night. It is uh, Monday. 20 to 9 at night on Monday. And uh, I need to get started on the MCAL and I need to finish that side because otherwise, oh, my hair's a mess. Otherwise, I'm never going to get it finished anywhere close before Thursday's Clue 4. And oh my God, I look like, do you remember years ago there was that... Um, what was it called with Linda Hamilton in and Ron Perlman and he was like a a lion man <laughs> I can't remember what it was called if I remember I'll put it up on the screen <laughs> that's what my hair looks like Ron Perlman from that show anyway um, I I need to find my glasses and I can't find them because I need my glasses on to find things. <laughs> so I'm having a bit of a dilemma. Um, my other half, Terry, is going to have a look for me. Um, when he loses his glasses, I have to find them for him because he can't see to find them. <laughs> I swear to God. So I'm sitting here like squinting at my laptop to try and watch something and trying to do the MCAL and I really need to get going but I'm going to have to go and have another attempt of looking for these glasses because because this is a bit of a nightmare anyway I'm waffling about eyesight and you're here to watch MCAL stuff so I'm going to go and try and finish this blooming MCAL oh, well section 11 and I'm really not thrilled about starting section 12 but I need to get section 11 done. So <clears throat> I'm going to get that done um, and try and find my glasses. I'll report back. I found them. <laughs> my uh, youngest had kicked them off the side of the bed when I was reading him a story. I did hear something fall. I heard some, I was reading him a bedtime story and I heard something fall. Um. And it was obviously, he'd kicked my glasses off the side of the bed and they'd gone down, down the side of the bed. <clears throat> so I have found them. Hooray. Now I'm going to get on with the MCAL. It is now quarter to nine. So when we'd gone five minutes, it was quite easy to find considering. <laughs> I'd already looked a few times, but they were like kind of, I had to stick my hand down and have a feel about which is not great down the side of your son's, your teenage son's bed. That's not who I was reading a bedtime story to. 
Okay, basically, my youngest has a high rise. So when I read him a bedtime story, we sit in his big brother's bed and then he climbs up into his bed. I'm not reading a teenage son a bedtime story. Yeah. I'm going now. Bye. Hello. It is um, now 20 past 11 at night. I haven't finished section 11. It takes ages. Even though it's like decreasing one stitch every um, every other row, every wrong side row. You've got to get it down to 18 stitches and mine's like 40 something. It's just... I'm sick of counting to four. I know that much. It's just so tedious and even though it, every other row is shorter, it's only by one stitch. It's just... It just takes ages. I'll show you where I'm at anyway. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I mean, it looks it looks nice. It does. It's just... <sighs> I'm sorry that I'm so whingy. It's just... I haven't enjoyed this MCAL at all and I'm really like, gutted because I normally really enjoy the MCAL even when they're tricky and weird and stuff but this one's just it's it's because you, you you're doing you do the thing and it it's either fun or it's not but then you've got to do the thing again and it's just like oh it's just it's just really tedious i feel like such a whiner also i have to show you i really can't cope with all these ends like it's it just Oh, it's just really stressing me out. So I've started to carry the yarn. I've only just, but I've started carrying them up. So I have, oh, I'm sorry, this is really bad. It's really awkward. I've got three yarns attached now, um, purely because when I did the first one, I cut it by accident. Um, because it's double-stranded, the first one, because I've got the more hair in there. But I am going to carry them all because I, I seriously cannot cope with this amount of ends. It's just, oh my God. And you can't really do weaving, Stephen, on these because you're slipping stitches in the front. So you can only do them for so many stitches and then, and then you, yeah, you're slipping stitches. So oh, I'm carrying them up this side. I'm really sorry about this filming. It's terrible. I'm carrying them up this side now and you can't tell any difference and even if you could I don't care because this is just ridiculous all this slot here that are from clue to and then all of it it's just like it's just too much all these it's just too much I can't cope I can't cope I know, you, you'd probably be watching me and going, isn't it supposed to be fun? Why don't you just stop? But I kind of like, when it's the MCAL, it kind of feels like a, like a challenge. Like, like I don't want to just quit. I want to, I want to get it done. But I'm really not enjoying this. I'm really not. I'm really not. I think you could tell. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I don't know. Do you know what I might do? And I'm... This is this is not like me. But I think what I might do is see how far I get and on Thursday I might look and see what clue four looks like. And if I really if it's just repetitive and and striping and I really don't wanna go there, I think I'm just gonna stop. And that's not like me. I don't give up easily. But um this is just ridiculous. Right, I've whinged enough. I'm going. I will uh, I will catch you tomorrow. Hello. It is 7.20 on Tuesday night. Um, I've just finished doing everything I need to do for um, Unity podcast stuff. My computer is open. I'm looking at this. I'm going to show you. 
Yes, I do have Batman as my screensaver sometimes. If you know me, you know I like Batman. I'm looking at this. Oh, <laughs> All I want to do is play that. I don't want to hit the end <laughs> But I'm going to. I'm determined to finish that side tonight. But I feel like I'm going to be ages with the other one. I was trying to record, but this person has turned up. <laughs> and this person over here has turned up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting this one to bed. No. Yes, and then, <laughs> and then I'm gonna knit it. My knitting. That's what you're leaning on. It's not. You'll get stabbed in the back. It's not that bad, is it? Well, the needles can be sharp. No, I'm not. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I'm back. Um. The youngest is now in bed. The eldest is upstairs playing his computer. And it is now 20, just about 20 to 9, 25 to 9. And I'm going to start. This is why I'm not getting caught up, because I, I don't... I'm not getting a lot of knitting time at the minute. And I'm really full. I've really, really fell behind with Clue 3. And yes, I probably could have been knitting on Saturday. And, um, and a bit more on Friday. But I didn't want to. <laughs> so, so maybe I could have had clue three half done at least at this point. Now my dog's coming to disturb me. Um, do you want to say hello? Like everybody else does. Hmm? Lay down. Your bum's in the way of the wire. Don't be so sulky. Hmm? It's a hard life, Sansi. Isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Don't look my knitting on the floor. I've had a fight with the dog. Well, not a proper fight, because <laughs> I would come off worse. Um, She's just sat on everything. Anyway. I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to stop talking to you. It's now 20 to 9. I'm going to get started on doing this and hopefully finish at least the first side. And then obviously tomorrow is Wednesday. I will not be finished Clue 3. It's so slow going. I'm, I'm just... Exactly. That's, what, that's how I feel. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to stop waffling. Right, it is a uh, quarter to eleven at night. I have just finished that uh, first side. Eleven. I'm so glad I started weaving in the yarns here. I think I'm. I'm gonna. I mean, look at this. Oh, I'm not gonna do that on the other side. I'm gonna do it all like this and just carry them up because this snipping yarn is ridiculous. Um, a bit hard to show you properly, but so that's that side. Um, yeah, so now I've got to do it all again on this side, and it's Tuesday night. So, how much I get done before Thursday is anyone's business. Um, I don't have a lot of knitting time tomorrow. Uh, sorry, I was just pulling the hairs out of it. <laughs> I don't have a lot of knitting time tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to try, try as much as I possibly can. So yeah, look at all my animals. All sitting over there. That's my Halloween stuff piled up, ready to go up. And my son has left something on the dog's bed, a t-shirt and a gun by the looks of it. And his school bag and his school shoes. Too busy doing this to pick them up. <laughs> I'm just like... Right, I'm going to get this done 
I've got 20 minutes left of the programme we're watching, which is um, the originals. I'm on season two of the originals. Vampire Diaries spin-off. Um, so I'll see how much I can get done in the 20 minutes left of this. And then I'm heading to bed. And I'll see, see how I get on tomorrow. But anyway I'm waffling at you again I haven't been able to film me knitting because the pattern is on my phone and I cannot take my eyes off this pattern I just get it wrong as soon as I do and so I'm sorry that there's no actual footage of me knitting anything but um, I honestly wish that I had a magic wand and I was secretly just filming this every couple of seconds and pretending what time it was and just waving my magic wand and there it was appearing but I am actually going off and knitting um and yeah i just can't film it because i can't take my eyes off the pattern i should just print it out if clue four is the same i will print it out because it's stupid anyway see you soon right it's 10 past 11 um i have this is the wrong side you start on the right side and you increase and then when you when you get to the wrong side you start the i chord cast off so i've done the right side draw and then the wrong side um excuse that box my son likes making things for the cat to play with and like i said his stuff's everywhere and i'm not picking it up so yeah um i know a couple of girls in the discord channel we're trying to figure out to do this on the right side and I think they did but I just haven't got the energy to be messing with the pattern I'm just following the pattern um so this is where I am I've got to cast off to this marker I placed a marker back in I counted through because I'm not counting um doing an eye chord 84 times so I counted up the stitches I needed and placed a marker to where I stopped doing the eye chord um, yeah, I think he should have told you to place a marker, to be honest, before you got back down here. But, whatever. Um, yeah, so I've got to cast this off, and then this is where all this slip stitch malarkey happens. And it is, that's the top of my head. It is 20, uh, quarter, coming up to quarter past 11 at night, so... That's me, done. There's no way I'll get section 12 finished on Wednesday. No way. So I'll get as much as I can done. But I can see me doing this until like Friday, Saturday, and then starting clue four. I can see me being really behind now, which is upsetting because I hate falling behind on the MCALs. But this is just, I've got no passion to knit this at all so I'm really struggling to pick it up stubborn to my detriment sometimes it's not like I can pull this out and knit something else with it anyway the yarn is chopped to bits so it's this or nothing so I'm just going to get it done anyway I will see you tomorrow um, and We'll see how much I get done. Good night. Hello, you lovely lot. Right, it is Wednesday night, uh, 20 to 9, 25 to 9. And I'm only just getting sat to knit. Um, so I know that's part of the problem. I'm not, I'm not stupid to think that it isn't. Anyway... I did do a little bit this morning. Sorry, you're very close to my foes. I did a little bit this morning. Uh, finished the eye card. And I did one row of the pattern. Um, I didn't like that bit. The fact that he wanted you to count 84 eye card rows is pretty ridiculous. Um and then no indication of like how many stitches you should have left before you go into the um, patterning bit 
just how many stitches you've got when you've done the patterning bit. So I had to jiggle around a little bit until I got that right because I, I couldn't count 84 high cord rows. I did half last night and half tonight and it, it just seems ridiculous. Like put a marker in, high cord to marker and then do the thing. It just seems a bit silly making people count that much. Anyway, um, other than that, I've started literally naff all. Um, and this is there's no way nowhere on this absolute earthly planet or the rest of the galaxies that we don't even know about. There's no way that I'm gonna have this finished for tomorrow. Um I don't even think I'll have it finished for Friday. Uh possibly I'm thinking like Sunday is when I'm gonna be able to start clue four. Um obviously this video is going out tomorrow as it's Thursday. Uh Sorry for all the morning. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it so far. But, um, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, I can only I can only do what I can do. And I literally do not have a lot of time to knit at the minute. It's been very, very busy. So I'll show you where I am. Right, so this is the one row that I did, which was on the wrong side. You do, you do it on that side. And then the eye cord edging, do, 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 do. That's all cast off. And then, yeah, so I literally have this mountainous thing that doesn't look a lot. This thing does not look a lot. Takes forever. Takes forever. So that's where I am. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crack on, see how much I can get done tonight. Stop shoving you right in my face. Um, it won't be a lot. I'll come back and show you and then um, I'll probably do a little signing off tomorrow and then get this video edited and uploaded and um, crack on with the following week. But tomorrow is clue four and I honestly, I think I'm gonna just look. I'm not gonna knit blind. I've lost the joy. I've lost the joy to knit blind, I don't care anymore I just want to oh can you imagine if it's just more stripes tomorrow and just more cutting yarn and more I just I just feel like this one has been such a half bleep effort I don't know I'm really disappointed in it anyway I'm going to crack on now and stop whinging at you. That's all I've done is whinge at you and I am very sorry. Right, it's quarter past 11 and it's bedtime. I'm going to show you where I've got to. Okay, so I've done one, two, three, half, half of that. Uh, my partner come in the room. Um, yeah, so I did um, eight rows of each colour apart from the last colour. I think I've done three rows of that. Um, I did stop, keep stopping and starting because I was um, doing something else um, to do with my other podcast, Unity Podcast with Jane Burns. So I was trying to sort a few things out with that so I've been stopping and starting. Um, but yeah. So I've got that far, not very far, but further than I expected. So I'll see where I get tomorrow, but I am going to look at clue for. But I will um, maybe do some in the morning and then sign this off, get it uploaded for you guys. And then we'll see what clue for brings. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. I have had no time to do any extra work on it this morning before the school run. Um, and now I'm video editing all day. Um, I'll be doing this one first and then I have Unity podcast um, videos to edit. So yeah, that's me done for Clue 3 um, video. Um, so I will plough on with the knitting of Clue 3 um, 
over the next few days and hopefully can get to clue four. I just want to get it done now. I just want to get it finished. So I'm really sorry that this video has just been a lot of me whinging. Um, that's what it feels like anyway. I haven't, obviously haven't watched it because I've got to edit it now. But it just feels like it's just me whinging. So I am sorry for that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway. I am going to get this up for you. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. Please give the video a thumbs up if you remotely enjoyed it. And, um, and if you are not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, come back and see the finished outcome of my shawl. I've got some serious knitting to do next week. But it's half term, so I won't be doing as much computer work because I can't concentrate when I've got my kids yapping around me. So um, I'll be doing more knitting, I think, I hope. So yeah, hopefully I can get it done. Yeah, so um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day.